Number 38. A 0.75 meter long section of cable carrying a current to a car starter motor makes an angle of 60 degrees with the Earth's 5.5 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla field. What is the current when the wire experiences a force of 7 times 10 to the minus 3 Newtons? So just take a step back. We're given magnetic field, angles, currents, forces, right, lengths. This has to scream at you right now that we need this formula, that the force on a current carrying wire will equal the magnitude of the current multiplied by the length of the current, which is kind of like the length of the wire, multiplied by the strength of the magnetic field, multiplied then by the sign of the angle between the magnetic field and the current. Okay? Um, so what are we asked to solve for? Where is to solve for the current? So what letter in this equation? That's I. Take everything else, cross multiply it. Boom. There's the formula. Now, what's the force? The force they told you was 7 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons. Those are the right units. What's the length? 0.75 meters. Those are the right units. What's the magnetic field strength? That's in Tesla. Those are the right units. So 5.5 times 10 to the minus 5th. What's the angle? They told you 60 degrees, right? 60 degrees. And that's going to be equal to the current. So t simply take out that handy dandy calculator. 7 times 10 to the minus 3 Divide it now by parenthesis 0.75 times 5.5 times 10 to the minus 5 times the sine of 60. Please be careful. Make sure your calculator is in scientific mode. And when we do the rounding, this is going to be 196 now amps is equal to the current. Okay? And that's that. That's, uh, that's letter A. Letter B. If you run the wire now between the poles of a strong horseshoe magnet subjecting this length now, 5 centimeters to, uh, of it, to a 1.75 Tesla field, what force is exerted on this segment of wire? Now, I guess, I, I don't know, I think the angle's changing. I think the angle should now be, um, let me think. Yeah, I, I think the angle should now be 90 degrees. It doesn't say to keep it 60, right? This is talking about a car motor, blah, blah, blah. Now it's almost like a totally different problem. So... I don't know. You make your assumption with that. I'm going to assume that it is uh, changing and that it should be 90 degrees because I think it's a different problem since they didn't give me then a angle in part B. I'll assume that it is 90 degrees. Otherwise, what should I assume? You could assume 60. I wouldn't necessarily disagree with you. I think it's a little ambiguous. Anyway, just so you know my thought. Um, uh, okay, so here, same problem, same type of problem. We're going to be using this formula. So what are we looking to solve for in this case? It says, what force? So we already have it solved for force. So it's just simply plug in the net values. What's the current? Well, that's the value we just solved for, the 196. When I do the calculation, I'm going to use the exact value. What's the length now? Well, it's only 5 centimeters, so convert that into meters. Divide that by 100 and multiply it by 10 to the minus 2. What's the magnetic field? Well, that stayed the same, I think. Oh, no, excuse me, excuse me. Woohoo! That's 1.75 Tesla. And then the sine of 90, you know, like I said, that just cancels. So simply now plug this on into the calculator. So there's going to be 196 times 0 0.05 times 1.75. So this is about 17.1. Now, obviously, well, 17.2, I guess, with the rounding. Um, now, obviously, if you assumed that it would have stayed the same at 60 degrees, you would have had to had, you know, plug in sine of 60 here and then multiply that. All right. So obviously the answer is going to be different, but, you know, you tell me what's right, uh, you know, whatever the book says is right, well, sure, if you just follow the text or the book, if, you know, but if you're reading this, if, you, if you're reading it independently, it's not clear to me. All right, guys, thanks for so much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe if you can, and we'll see you soon. Take care.